Hello everyone, Kyle Hansen here at Washington Grizzly Stadium, where on Saturday evening we had a huge top 10 showdown in the FCS between the Sacramento State Hornets and the Montana Grizzlies. Now Sac State has beaten Montana three times in a row, so the Grizzlies were looking to right that ship and win their fifth game in a row on the season, while the Hornets were looking for that big statement victory on the season. Second drive for Sac State, and Marcus Fulcher, back from injury, puts the Hornets deep in Grizz territory. Then the Hornets draw first blood as Fulcher finishes it off and punches it in to make it 7 to nothing. But the Grizzlies respond with a 13-play drive capped by an 8-yard run by Eli Gilman to tie this game at 7-all. Second quarter, how about some trickery as Junior Bergen gets the ball and throws it to the quarterback, Clifton McDowell, who gets to the 9-yard line. And then Nick Osmo is there to finish the job. As he scores on the nine yard run to make it 14 to seven Grizzlies. Then later McDowell back to pass and he finds Aaron Fonts in the back of the end zone and that makes it 21 to seven Montana heading into halftime. Third quarter, Hornets use 17 plays to drive 77 yards to Montana six, but the field goal is missed. A huge stop for Montana and the score stays the same. Grizz with the ball now, McDowell keeps it himself and goes 42 yards to set up Montana well. But a few plays later, Grizz on the 18-yard line, and McDowell is picked off by Kylan Ross, and this one stays 21-7 after three. Fourth quarter, Grizz defense still sharp as Alex Gubner gets the big sack on Caden Bennett to force a punt. Then it's the backbreaker for the Grizzlies. McDowell hits Keelan White down the right sideline, and he is gone. Beats the entire Sacramento State defense for a 97-yard touchdown. That's a new school record for Montana, and the Grizzlies lead 28-7. And that would seal it as the Grizzlies roll past the Hornets to win their fifth straight game as Montana wins 34-7 as they take down a top-10 opponent and improve to 8-1. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.